Hi, my name is Kathleen West, and today I'm going to demo my first project for the Udacity Cloud Developer using Microsoft Azure Nano Degree Program. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, thank you. Congratulating me on successfully completing my first project. Um, I'm going to take a look at this so and demo it for my future blog article we had to deploy a storage app um, content management system for articles into Azure and it was they gave us some starter Python code and we had to fill in some blanks and do some extra things um, let's go ahead and take a look at it um, so basically it was a simple content management um, system and you'll take a look at, look at the rubric and the requirements in the blog article um, but the purpose of this video oh cool shows me that I passed thank you um, is to demo the project so without further ado let's switch to um, my Microsoft Edge where I have everything everything set up um, so this is the application that's running on Azure as we speak. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and decommission this uh, to save some money. Uh, so, but it is up and running for now. So I'm going to go ahead and demo it by signing in. It probably remembers me. So I had already authenticated with my Microsoft account and it remembered me. <laughs> So if you or anybody else were to want to come in while this app is running, you would go ahead and go through the um, process of authenticating with either your username or password or with a Microsoft uh, account. And this app is currently open to anybody in the world who has a Microsoft account. All right, let's take a look at some of the posts. So this is very simple. Um, it basically allows you to create posts, um, view your current posts, um, you can create a new one. I'm going to say, hello world, and I will put my name and say this is a demo post. Let's choose a file, let's see, hopefully there's not one embarrassing of me anywhere on here all right here's a cool looking picture from my engagement photo and i'm going to click on save oh cool and it updated it so what's going on in the back end is it is writing to a sql database with some field data creating a new record and we'll check that out in a second and it's adding to a storage blob with uh, the image that I just uploaded, as you see there. Okay, so let's see what's going on under the hood in Azure. Here is my resource group um, in Udacity. I created a resource project, a resource group. And here are, are all the resources. We have an app service which is the project, um, the app service plan that comes with it, SQL Server, SQL uh, Server database down here, and a storage account. Um, here's the app service. Get a little bit of more data as it's been going on. I just relaunched it a couple minutes ago. I'm on the free tier. Uh, what else can I show you? How about deployed? So what I did was I uh, made a private GitHub repo with this project. It's a Python project. Um, I'm not too um, uh, Python is not my preferred language of choice. I'm a .NET person, but this nano degree requires you to write code in Python. So there, there I am. <laughs> and I deployed it via my private git. 
Um, uh, and here's the application log stream that it's basically outputting from the Python main app, the views, it logs. Um, here's the SQL Server. Very simple Microsoft SQL Server, nothing fancy. I'll show you the database that goes along with it. Um, let's go ahead and check out the query editor here. You can see the what's going on. I gotta log in. And we have a view of there's two main tables for this application, SQL tables. There are the posts. Oh no. Go away. And users for users that go ahead and um, register for the application um, instead of using an OAuth Microsoft token, um, they can do that as well here. And here's the post. So we have the title. We're, we're, we're going to go ahead and just uh, view the results, and you can see the most recent one that I did. It's like, hello world, this is a demo post, and it's got some kind of um, uh, identifier for the, the blob storage. So basically, all the text info is, is going to the SQL database, and then we're going to take a look at the blob storage um, right here. So I've got it in a container called images here and here's some small you know it's cool storage right now um all my photos that have been uploaded via the app go to the storage container right here um very important is the active directory registration for the application go there um, it's got a redirect URL. This is uh, vital for the application when you are using OAuth to get a token and to log in. Um, for that to work, you need a redirect URI and then like a logout. Uh, this this happens when you click on the logout feature. It goes back to the login page, clears the session data and the code. Everything's all rainbows and cupcakes after that. <laughs> um, let me see what else. Oh, maybe another thing you should be aware of is something called client, uh, client secrets. So obviously you're not going to know what that is. Um, it's got a, the application has a secret and it has to have in the configuration file in order to um, be able to play around with the storage and the SQL database. That's where it's stored, but it's a one-time thing. You gotta copy and paste. Um, let me see what else. I think we're good on that. I don't think I did anything different there. So, yeah, this is a really cool uh, project. Uh, gonna go ahead and sign out of that um, we can go back to the uh, project here and re relaunch it and uh, try to log in again oh and there you would go right I'm not gonna do that again <laughs> anyways um this was a, uh, a fun first project, and check out my um, code. Um, I'm probably going to blank out the configuration information or just put like generic um, markers in there, um, even though this Azure stuff will be deleted. <laughs> I just don't like having passwords and things in, in there, but. Uh, my repo is currently private. I'm expecting to publish uh, a public one in the future. Um, it might be a while uh, to when I get to publish this because of starting, well, 
no announcements. <laughs> I'm going to be a busy girl for a while. Um, and then I also have the rest of these, uh, uh, things to do. I have a lot, lot, uh, a lot more to work on. So I'm thinking the next projects will probably, probably be more challenging. And, um, I invite you to join me. All right. You all have a wonderful day.